but Liverpool come and it's going to drop here for Curtis Jones and he's down again and this one is given this big name clash Salah against Salah. Happy New Week it's another exciting week we saw what happened over the weekend or the actions or the games that went on over the weekend what happened or the things that transpired a lot of things happened over the weekend and i'm sure you enjoyed majority of the games that you watched some they lost their games some win some are not happy or the likes of man you are happy that they won their game after not after a winning less a run for some time they have not won their game but recently they just won Congratulations to mind you, Chelsea lost 2-1, Liverpool won against Chelsea 2-1, then Arsenal lost 2-0 because they received red card. I think that affected the complexion of the game. Libya actually begged calf for Messi after a poor treatment that hurted the game between them and Nigeria. And the... NFA has gone ahead of time to equally, you know, put up a cogent uh, argument against the Libya to the CAF that they need to be punished, that the, the Libyans need to be punished. They don't have to wait until their judgment comes out. You know, they are going ahead of time to push for punishment against the Libya. You get... Uh, you know, Libyans are coming out every day to make unnecessary and nonsense simulations. You get what I'm saying? But away from that, um, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Do you know what's wrong with Chelsea? I think the identity that this coach, Enzo Maraske, is trying to create, it will be hearted, it will be rained by this constant and persistent playing of Nicholas Jackson. He liked Nicholas Jackson too much to the extent that even when Nicholas ja Nicholas Jackson is not performing, is not being seen in the go game, he will leave that Nicholas Jackson to play until almost the final minute. Then he will now start thinking of how to bring in um Nkunku. It's Nkunku Melin that will come and do magic for you. I don't get this thing. Huh? You will see that somebody is not in a game. I understand he, he performed on and off the ball. Because I, I wouldn't say on and off the ball. It's not that good like that. It's not that good like that. You understand? So, I don't know why he keep on allowing this guy to play game till the end or till almost the final minutes. It doesn't make sense to me. It's going to affect... The identity is trying to create in Chelsea. Believe me, quote me anywhere. That's what I see. He has done a good job, but leaving Nicholas Jackson, he wasn't in that game. Forget about the fact that he scored. Anybody can score. Just create chances, numerous number of chances all the time. But this guy, out of ten chances, will score one goal. But in that Liverpool game, we initially we created chances when we started the game. But if it, Nicholas, his positioning are, are, are poor. His positioning is just poor. Sometimes you would start looking for where Nicholas is. You will not see him. You get? I think it's stri this striking position of a team. We have fed Chelsea this season, no matter how well they feel. Did you also notice that as much as Nicholas Jackson wasn't in that game, that Palmer was equally rendered cold Copama was rendered cold in that game Copama wasn't in that game he tried as much as he can to come into the game but yet it's 